Hey guys, what's going on? It's Yaz, and today I want to share with you my empties. So these are items I've used up in the past couple of, I guess, weeks. I don't remember. I don't remember exactly when my last empties video was, but I feel like it's been a while, and I haven't collected as much stuff. So I just kept waiting until I had um, a good amount of stuff to talk about. And even now, I don't feel like there's too many things in this bag. It's, it looks kind of light, but um, I just don't want to keep putting it off and you know saving these items that I have in the bag right now. I just kind of want to get rid of them. Also today I am wearing my contacts. I had a really bad, I woke up with a really bad migraine today and I took my migraine medication but sometimes it takes a little while and it kind of lingers for a little bit so I don't want to pop in my, my contacts because I feel like that sort of just um, like exacerbates the the feeling that I have like behind my eyes. So I'm wearing, my, I'm wearing um, one of my glasses today and I can tell that it's sort of reflecting but hoping that it's not too much of a distraction because I kind of wanted to film something today because like I said it's been a while since I filmed anything and I just wanted to share the empties that I've collected so far so let's get into it see so everything I have is in this Ricky's bag and literally it's only full like up to here so I feel like I don't have that many products um, but that's probably a really good thing because I feel like most of my empties videos go for way too long and I edit all my videos I have to edit my videos um, and I edit a lot out of my videos and I feel like it's so much more work to edit that much stuff out of it. So um, having a couple of items this month might be a good thing. First up is this two-step total repair foot mask treatment. It's from Beauty Concepts. Just been curious about this. This was a little bit different than the other ones that I've seen or the other ones that I've tried. Um, I've since purchased other ones. I I thought it worked well for like softening my feet. It's not one of these foot masks that I've heard about where your feet are like exfoliating, like self-exfoliating for like a week or two. It wasn't like that. I didn't really see too much peeling going on. I, I felt a little bit of peeling going on at the bottom of my feet, um, but it wasn't anything drastic. Um, I've since tried, other, I've since purchased, I think, two other ones to try out. Um, I'm going to see how those go for me. My mom told me that she actually purchased one. I got to get the name of of it from her that she purchased one where there was like a lot of exfoliating going on and she was actually a little bit concerned but of course once that um, exfoliating sort of process was done her feet were looking fabulous so I definitely want to give it a try especially now because we're getting into summer and much warmer weather um, I don't want my feet looking like a hot mess so I tried it this one in particular contains two separate parts the first one is the actual foot mask that you sort of just put on your feet I would put it on my feet I have a tattoo on the top of my right foot so I didn't want it to sort of hit that area so I just made sure that the gel didn't sort of hit that area because I didn't know if it was going to exfoliate the skin off like I just didn't know how I was going to react with the tattoo I imagined that it shouldn't remove the tattoo or sort of like lessen the intensity but I'd rather be safe than sorry and damage my to my tattoo for a four dollar you know foot treatment thing so the first step is that and then the second step was a lotion that I actually put was able to use for like three days there was enough lotion in there to use for three days and every night I would use that and put on some socks um, you can also put socks over the foot mask just to make sure it stays um, it doesn't move around if you're gonna be walking around because this one I think you wear for like an hour and a half yeah for one to two hours um, so I would put I put socks over the mask just so that um, I can walk around comfortably around the house and I didn't feel like I was slipping and sliding all over the place. As long as you put the foot mask on correctly, the serum that's in it won't leak out and won't get your socks all like messy and gooey. I like the concept, I just don't think this one in particular did much for me. I also don't have like really bad calluses or like um, thick hardened or tons of like uh, dry skin on my feet because I tend to exfoliate. I guess somewhat often I try to exfoliate at least once a week with like those exfoliating gloves that you can use in the shower so I don't think um, I have too much skin to sort of get rid of but I do have some skin on my feet that needs to go so um, I'm gonna give a few other ones a try and I'll let you guys know how those work out next I have one of the Garnier skin renew dark spot treatment mask it's one of these cheap masks that you can get from Garnier and I like this one in particular because Number one, it's really affordable and uh, ready, readily available at your local drugstore or like Ulta. They sell it as well. I think you get five or six of them for like, I think anywhere between $12 to $15 retail. Um, you know, if you go to your drugstore, you can use coupons. Ulta, you can use coupons. So it, it can come out much cheaper than that, which is a really good deal because I feel like most often than not, you will pay at least $5 per sheet mask, depending on the brand. So I think that's a really good deal. Um, and I like these. These are like my go-to 
like on a regular basis because they are so affordable and available to me. Um, so I like it. You should definitely, you should definitely try those out. I have here a few of these, and if you've seen some previous videos of mine, you know that I really like these. These are the Philosophy Micro Deliv These are the Philosophy Micro Delivery Triple Acid Brightening Peel Pads, and they're like really big pads that you can use once a week all over your face to sort of help exfoliate your skin and brighten your skin tone. Um, I think they're a really great product for sort of revitalizing and brightening your skin tone, especially in between seasons, in the middle of winter. I really like going in with these. They say you can use them weekly. I tend to use them more on a monthly basis. So a package of these, like a box of these, will literally last me a year. But now, I think maybe because I'm getting older or maybe because this winter was really severe, I was going in with it a little bit more frequently. Um, sometimes I did it once a week. Sometimes I did it every other week. Um, but I definitely recommend these. I think these are really good. I tried looking for these recently at Ulta and I couldn't find them. So I don't know if it's that they don't make them anymore or what. Um, but I just ordered a different type that I think is more of like a daily one to kind of give it a try and see how I like it. We'll see. But I really like these. Next is a hand cream and this one is from Coralie and it is called Miel de... I don't know. I want to say Vagine, but I feel like that sounds like vagina, so I don't know if that's right. Miel de Vagine. V-I-G-N-E. I don't speak French. I've never taken a French course. Uh, yeah, I don't, I'm, I don't speak no French. But, um, I really like this one, so I guess it's like the honey scent or whatever. Um, I, I really liked it. It was the perfect little size to travel with. I kept it in my handbag, and so I used it up. It... I purchased this, I believe, on Black Friday from Sephora. It was this and their lip balm. I'm not crazy about the lip balm, but I am using it now pretty much because I kind of want to use it up. But I I don't feel like I get a whole day's worth of hydration from it. And I figured from Coralie it would be a really good product, but it wasn't. This was my more favorite product from the Duo. I really like it. I would consider purchasing this in the full size because I really like the scent. And I felt like others noticed it when I used it, which I really like. I... I like when other people notice when you use something of like a really nice quality and, and it gives off a good scent and it's not like offensive. You know, you know I don't want to offend people with like my perfume or my scented lotions and I don't tend to go in with scented lotions unless they're hand creams because then I don't mind but all over my body I'm not big on like scented creams. But this was a really good one. I'm pretty sure it's a little bit pricey but I really liked it. Next is a scent and this is the Rose Petals Peony and bergamot perfume oil it is a fragrance roll it is a fragrance like roll-on oil that i got from urban outfitters and it cost 18 dollars. i just really love this scent i had purchased this and a rose scented perfume from them and i mean this one's completely done it has little rose petals in there and peony i guess as well um and i would use this in combination with the rose scented perfume just to make the scent sort of last longer i love i love rose scented perfume so this was just a really nice combination and um, I pretty much used this every single day until I finished it so it only lasted me about a month or so but at $18 I guess that's not too bad um, and I definitely could smell this still at the end of the day after I've been on the train and commuting from work to home um, on much warmer days or maybe I sweat a little bit um, I can still smell this at the end of the day so I really really like this I definitely think it's worth it next is a dry shampoo and this is from Salon Graphics and this is for the um, this is for brunette hair I didn't totally love it I felt like it kind of left a little bit of a residue in my hair and I felt like um, it was a bit more than what like the other dry shampoos I've tried in the past left on my hair but it wasn't the worst. It was, but it also wasn't the worst one that I've used. I just didn't like this one as much as some of the other ones I, I've tried. And I really like like the Batiste ones. I love the dry shampoo. I haven't tried the Dove one, but I really do want to try that one next. Um, but it does do what a dry shampoo is supposed to do. I just felt it was a little extra. Next is the nail polish, and this is from Sally Henson Complete Salon Manicure. This one's in the color bandage and it's a really pretty sort of just like neutral like just a natural like beige color um it's actually what I'm wearing on my nails right now well except my ring finger and I just noticed the last time that I used it it was just um the application wasn't all that for me it, I like things that are I like I love nail polishes that are really opaque or really true to color with two coats at the most um, and this one came out really streaky at first and I can sort of even it out with the second coat 
but it was I felt like it was a little thick so I wasn't crazy about it plus I've had this one for a while I've definitely had it for at least two years I think so maybe it's just time to sort of move on and I like, toss it out um, so I, I like the color because it's almost I almost feel like it's wearing like it's almost like wearing a white color on my nails with my skin tone it sort of gives me like that really nice contrast but in a really natural way so I did like the color I just wasn't crazy about the formula anymore so this one's gotta go next is my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion in the original formula and I love the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion this one does have some left in there but I'm not gonna finish it only because I've noticed the product has sort of seeped into like the packaging. It, it hasn't come out of the package. It doesn't leak outside of the packaging, but I can see it through the clear like coating on the package. And so I don't know if that is somehow contaminating the product inside and I'm putting it on my eyes and my eyes can be really sensitive. So I don't want to continue using it. But these are this is a really great formula. I feel I really I feel like it helps my eyeshadows last all day on my eyes without creasing, without getting blotchy or anything like that. Even on days that I don't wear like um, eyeshadow and I might only do like, you know, a liner and mascara, I feel like it just helps make my lids look less oily because I tend to be combination oily skinned. So um, my eyelids can get very, very oily. But I so I really like this. Next is from Michael Todd Organics, or Michael Todd True Organics, and this is the Jojoba Charcoal Facial Scrub, and I love a facial scrub, especially now. This is where my skin gets super duper oily, and I have to do tons of exfoliating and like clarifying or clay mask to sort of um, try to balance my skin a little bit and kind of draw out excess oil and really get rid of any dead skin that can sort of clog my pores and cause me to break out. Um, this is a really good one. I like the Michael Todd line because I believe their products are organic. So I like their products. I don't tend to purchase from them often. I've only gotten a few items from them in the past, but I really like it. This was a really good one. Next is another eyeshadow primer. I didn't finish this, but I didn't like it, so I just wanted to share it with you guys. And this is the eyeshadow primer from Hard Candy. I got this in one of their new... Um, palettes that they have that, that come like in a tin. A lot of people said they've been dupes for some of the um, Too Faced eyeshadow palettes and I feel like maybe in color scheme they may be really similar but um, as far as application and consistency and just the way they apply on the eyes they're definitely not dupes. They're cheaper alternatives I guess but they're definitely not dupes. Definitely not of the same quality as the Too Faced shadows. I didn't like this at all. It was just really weird on my eyes. I I don't like it. Next is the one and only Argan Oil. I got this when I purchased a hair dryer at Ulta. Um, and I hated the hair dryer, so that went back. But since I had already opened this, they let me keep it. Um, and I kind of like this as an everyday oil treatment for my hair um, to help with the little flyaways. I have a lot of <laughs> little flyaways going on today. Um, but I kind of have to let them do their own things. I don't like to put too much oil up on my roots. So I try putting a little bit of stuff on my roots. But not so much so that it doesn't get super gunky. I don't want to wash my hair for like at least another two days. So I can't put much on my oil on my roots. But this is great for your ends. Great to put a little bit on your roots once you're done putting it everywhere else. Um, I felt like it really helped to hydrate my hair and protect my hair from the heat. And just make it look a little bit more... Um, a little less damaged and make it look a little bit more um, like polished and hydrated. So I like this. Next is, I got this in an Ipsy bag, I don't know if it was last month or the one before that. And this is the Jorel Parker Femina Beauty Perfume, I think it is. Um, and I liked it. It's, um, it's a, it was a roller ball and the damn ball was getting on my nerves, so I kind of just took the ball off. Um, it's a really great scent. It's kind of right up my alley. It's, um... It is a bit strong. It's not one of these really soft sort of powdery scents. It's a little bit more of a stronger, um, almost like a muskier scent, but it, it doesn't really, like musk doesn't jump out at me when I smell it, but I feel like it's more on the muskier side. Um, but I really like it because those are the kind of scents that I go for. So for me, it was right up my alley. And the last empty for this month is another product I believe I got in my Ipsy bag and one of my more recent ones. And I used it pretty much every single and I pretty much used it every single day since I had gotten it. And now it's completely done. And this is the Evelyn Iona concealer. Mine was in the color. Oh, it doesn't have a color. 
uh, this isn't you know my exact skin tone so it's, it's one of the lighter ones you can kind of see a little bit of concealer in the pots um, but yeah I don't remember what the actual shade is um, but I used this underneath my eyes and at first I wasn't sure like I knew I couldn't use it on my face because it's a little light for me but I figured maybe I could use it underneath my eyes and at first I would kind of use it more in the area where I highlight underneath my eyes but then I started bringing it closer to my lash line which I normally wouldn't want a product like this because I feel like it's way too creamy and thick and I have little fine lines there and they tend to crease but I used this with my normal under eye setting powder and it, it really didn't crease on me and it really brightened and it hit my under eye circles so I felt like it did, a, it did a really great job I don't tend to go for these types of um, under eye concealers so I don't know if I would ever go back and purchase it but I was actually pleasantly surprised by it I felt like it, it worked really well along my under eyes and I had absolutely no complaints and like I said I used it pretty much every single day until it was gone so the proof is in the pudding so thank you so much for watching guys I really do appreciate it I hope you found some information here that I presented to you today useful and if you have any questions about any of the products or any comments if you want to share your experiences with any of these products please feel free to do that down below in the comments section thank you again so much for watching I really do appreciate it and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys